I might be tripping, but I feel like ugly shooting forms are going to become less and less more prevalent in the NBA over the next 10 to 20 years. Everybody grew up watching Klay Thompson. Everybody got shooting coaches slash individual coaches and trainers. Then now that we have ugly jump shots currently in the NBA, we need to praise them for making it this far with some ugly jumpers. Today we reacted to, to Kosh Report, one of the GOATs of uh, a compilation's ugly jump shooter. Let's get into it. Not only are we looking at ugly shooter forms, the forms are supposed to get ugly and uglier as time goes on. And I already see my boy Halley's up first. And you know what? Halley does have an ugly jumper, but when you shoot 40% throughout your career, it don't, it don't matter. It's, oh, it's just a lot of... I remember this shot. Yo, in-season tournament, Halley was on a whole different level. This shot has zero, zero business going in. Zero business going in. And it should have been an M1. Did they call it M1? They didn't. Dre, backpack him, snipe. But you know what? Dre's jumper ain't pretty. Trust, trust, trust. Dre's jumper, Dre's jumper isn't pretty. It's prettier than Halliburton's. It's prettier than Halliburton's. I can't lie. Yeah, it look like he got a backpack on. But look, huh, smack. Y'all remember that one year where Draymond was unstoppable from three, like close to 40%? And this is another one of those years, man. They still went in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to take a shot at the Warriors, and I can I, I didn't realize that we were going with Jaron Jackson Jr. next. Jaron has a little kid's jump shot. Again, it don't matter because it go in. But he's got a little kid's jumper, and he was on a heater in this one. That's a 30-footer that he just threw off the glass. <laughs> That's a 30-footer. Who we got next? Oh, Brandon Mill or oh, Brandon Clark. I didn't even think about the fact that they got two ugly jump shooters on the same team. Uh, good to see uh, Clark back. And hey, listen, this is crazy though. This is crazy. Because every clip until here, hold on. Until here, every clip that we have seen had been a make. They didn't put a miss in for bro. That's crazy. So he don't even count for the other people that hit their shots. Except for that one, I guess. That, that was in. That was in. Who we got? Oh, Matt Bonner was a sniper. It don't matter that this was ugly. It doesn't matter. Matt Bonner had a torch. And the fact that he got so many open looks just lets you know that the Spurs system was crazy. That he was just sitting around with his New Balance on before it was cool to... Yeah. You know what? Yoke, Yoke does fit, Loki. Yoke does fit. on Like, on his traditional jumper, fine. But when he's moving, it can get real ugly. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? I remember this happening in the uh, first round. Or, oh, I'm sorry, in the conference finals, game one. It's like nothing you can really do. This is game four. What are you supposed to do? Legendary Jokic run. Big Al. Big Al. You know what? Him and Joe Ingles' jumper are similar. But, yeah, the, he holds the ball from the front, which is... Like, his guide hand is blocking his release hand. And if Steph is criticizing it, you might want to switch it up. Delhi, I used to love Delhi jumper, bro. It makes no sense. It's above his head, but behind his head at the same time. And he used to get that jumper off, and that should be an AM1. Again, Delhi. Remember he was the second best player on the team that went to a championship? Cameron Payne has got an ugly one for show. But you know why I like Cameron Payne's shot? Because he holds the ball in front of his left eye. So, like, he kind of can dial it in a little bit. Uh, Joe Ingles holds his to the to the side of his head. Campaign is, like, right on line with his eye. It's ugly. But, again, if it's hitting like that, then what can you really say? Oh, uh, 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 never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Manu, you hit six threes in the game. It don't matter how the, how the shot looks. They, he just kept it going, too. He just kept it going. I'm surprised this ain't the end of the video. Cal Anderson, slow, hitchy, jumbling of the ball in his hands is crazy. He always going to have all the time in the world to let it go because no team is ever going to close out. But that's an ugly one. Oh, Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin used to have it going. He averaged like 25 a season with this jumper, y'all. Don't sleep. Kev was like that. Nasty. Just ah, so nasty. I cannot believe he uses his torch people like that. Rick Barry underhand. Iconic. Oh, oh my god, iconic. I forgot you even was in the league for a little bit, my boy. A little cup a little cup of coffee for another underhand shooter. The science would say most players should be shooting like that. Dick Barnett. Oh my god. I've never seen bro. I had never seen Dick Barnett's jumper for real 
It's in 2K as a meme for a lot of people. It's been in 2K forever. And this is the first time I'm really seeing it. When offensive interference wasn't a thing. Lonzo. This is young Zo too. Luckily, Lonzo has evolved where his jumper is not this ugly anymore. But the first three years of his career, that's nasty, bro. That's nasty. If you ever wanted to close out on Lonzo's jumper, you can you can really hinder him because he was doing it from his chest and then he brought it over to the right side. Shout out to LeVar. But that was ugly. Marcus Camby. Smack. <laughs> it don't matter, big fella. Start off on the left side and then bring it over to your right. It's a lot of bricks in this one. Mason Plumley too. Mason Plumley, at least he, he put his pride to the side and switched hands. Him and Tristan Thompson. At least they decided that it was probably best for my career if I switch hands. And Mason Plumley know not to take no real jumper. Never mind. <laughs> As he takes a real jumper and it hits every part of the rim. Holy crap, bro. Every part of the rim. Look at the bench. Oh, my God, bro. Look at the bench. George Hill is like, ew. <laughs> That's crazy. Even, hey, if Giannis is criticizing your jumper, you know something is, is up. Who we got? Oh, he, yeah, I re actually remember this. I actually remember this. I actually remember this because I almost turned off the TV. Wait a minute. Rest in peace, Anthony Mason. I had no idea he shot his free throw like this. I had no idea. What? Bro, we, what? Sean Marion. Bro, I interviewed Sean Marion like a few weeks ago. And I, he said, he didn't say this, but I, I basically pissed him off because I asked him why he never changed his jump shot. And he said, I used to get real mad when people asked me that question. You, he said, used to. So we good. Look at that. No follow through, no nothing. Huh. Just goes in though. Oh, Bill Cartwright. Bill Cartwright got the first jumper of every game for the Bulls, basically. They said, hey, Bill, here's a jump shot. Do what you got to do, but don't don't be taking too many of them now. The free throw was nasty, too. Oh, my. Like, how do you? And nah, he went pro. I did it, obviously. How do you go that far, and that's how your jump shot look? Ronnie Brewer, Bulls legend, too. How do you go that far, and nobody's like, hold on. Let's 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 get in the, in the lab a little bit. He shot it with two hands. Oh, Taco. Taco, yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about Taco. Taco for three. When you when you up by 25, you can do what you want. What is what is Moses? I've seen you shoot free throws. What's ugly? I do not remember what Moses Brown free throws like. Wow. Okay. Okay, no guy hand. No guy hand at all. He gonna say, damn, bro, brother. There's a reason you're missing it. Joe Yeah, I was hoping never to get a Joe Kim Noah in this one. I knew it was coming, but I should uh, The spin on the ball is this way. It's this way. The rotation makes zero sense. How, bro? How is that even possible? Yeah, Boogie's like, what's going on with your release? Yeah, this is this the end of the video? It should be. It's not. There's somebody jump shot. That they're saying is worse than that. Who is it? I don't know. I did a whole video about uh, MKG's jumper, bro. It's awful. Chuck Hayes. Oh, my God, Chuck Hayes. Are they going to get the Allen Iverson clip? Yes, this is the Allen Iverson clip. Oh, my God. Chuck Hayes' free throw is crazy. He t Allen Iverson is telling the ref that this man is traveling. He's traveling, which is true. The, he's moving that, that leg, man. Wow. Is that the last one of the video? It might be, bro. Give me one more. Who's the worst? Are we saying that is the worst looking jump shot of all time? He's leaning backwards. It is. Oh, my God. Hey, man. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Is that the ugliest jumper? Shout out to Zoe. Zoe has come a long way. Everybody else in that video did not change up. Zoe did, and he did it for the better.